Brooke, it's tension everyone agrees exists. The police chief says the pension money from his officers' paychecks isn't earning interest, and he worries what would happen if somebody got hurt and needed disability. The clerk says her workload is simply too much. In Fort Bill, Clerk Treasurer Marcy Stafford's office is a virtual fortress filled with old payroll records and personnel files, all which need to be archived. I've been begging for help. That's on top of the online pension payments she's supposed to make but hasn't for city employees. Visual proof, she claims, she's overwhelmed. And that's the reason why, because I need help. Believe me, I'm not one to delegate. I'm more of a control freak. I want to make sure it's done correctly. I'd rather do it myself. So for me to say I need help is equivalent to an alcoholic work at, walking into his first meeting in AA. On Monday, the town council voted to hire her an assistant. I feel a little more comfortable that it'll get taken care of. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it was just handled. Uh, this is something that we've been working on for several months. Fortville Police Chief Bill Knauer's computer shows at least three payments to the Public Employee Retirement Fund, or PERF, haven't been made since June. Why haven't these payments been made? Because I would work on it, get pulled away, get working on something else, and then you, you get back to it, still more problems. Problems that include setting up the online bank account. Until that's done, the money can't be transferred. I don't know if we're going to be covered or not if something was to happen to one of the officers. That's my concern. A spokesman says the retirement fund would cover the officers, but would then charge the town. And overdue payments means the town already owes penalties, which Stafford may have to pay herself. Well, what do you it's say if fault. someone who says she just can't do her job? They're wrong. Marcy Stafford admits she keeps odd hours, but claims to work up to 70 hours a week at times. The chief says those odd hours make it hard for city business to get done. The state is still attempting to verify that bank account. It could be another 10 days before that's done and those payments are transferred. We'll keep you posted. Bennett Haverly, 24-hour News 8.